What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 1940s. Thank you guys for joining me. I will be going over a little bit of history on with makeup and a little bit of history that was going on during the 1940s. Also, um, and do my makeup in that style. If you like the look that I have created here, go ahead and stick around and I will be completely barefaced and my hair will not be done and I will be in my robe in three, two, one. So we're hopping into the 1940s today. They, this era was a very interesting era. There was a lot of things going on and I'll probably run over into the 1950s with what was going on, but we'll go with the makeup and then we'll work into the history as we're doing the makeup. The brows, we'll start with the brows. The brows were well manicured and they were starting to let them grow out a little bit instead of like the just the line that everybody drew from the 1920s. Go back. If you go back to my 1920s video, I'll try to remember to link it below. You'll see I'm going to use my Urban Decay uh, brow blade for this. And I can almost guarantee you they did not have a lobster mirror there. I looked at their Batman mirror, but I don't know if it would fit my face. So they were starting to let their brows grow out and, you know, things were just changing and makeup was evolving. Basically, the brows were manicured, which means they just look nice. You put together, ladylike, and all that fun stuff. To me, this was a very interesting era. I was learning that this, they actually were starting to realize the effect that your brows have on your entire face. And not just that, but in particular, your nose. And you'll notice that your no it changes your entire face. We talk about the brows being the frame to your face. Well, they really are. And in this era, they started realizing the f effect that it had on their nose in general. But as far as anything, instead of over tweezing and things like that, or maybe they did still over tweeze some, as I was looking at many, many pictures, they still over tweezed. But um, haven't we all? Just really were realizing that, hey, these brows, there, there's something to these brows. They must have known this because in the 1920s, they would draw them in different expressions and very thin, so they had their own little life of their own. I thought that was interesting, and yeah. So basically, the brows were just kept groomed, and probably the stray hairs taken out. The next thing that they did was they dusted, like, pale shimmers or pale colors, pastels, across their eyelids. Some of them chose to match their eyes. In past videos, I have talked about the fact that I'm trying to use things that I just haven't used before, um, palettes and things like that, so that I can actually start using more of my products and not being wasteful. So that also goes with brushes. I have a ton of brushes that I have not used and this is one of the BH Cosmetics number five, but this is their flat, their flat series. And I thought these were really cute and I wanted to try them out, but I have had them for a super long time. So needless to say, now's the time to try them out because I haven't tried them out. And going along with that theme, here is my Too Faced Anniversary palettes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into, I don't want to go with my eye color. I kind of have a tendency to go with my eye color. What I'm going to do is dip into Jaja right here. It's this pinky kind of um, sparkly shimmery color. And I'm just going to get it on both sides, tap it off. I don't have a lot of pastel colors, I realize, in my arsenal here. 
So I just dipped into Gigi to give it a little bit more depth right here. All right, so Gigi is this little mauve color right here. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I always try to set things off to the side, just so you know, so you'll see me sit and move things over. I really like this brush. It was really nice to get into the crease just very easily. So during this time, Franklin Roosevelt was president and Harry Truman was his vice president. Moving on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is going to clash with my lipstick, but that's okay. It just kind of goes with the era. Now, moving along, you know, in during this time in the 1940s to the 1950s, a lot of things happened. Okay, a lot of things. Like, a lot of firsts and a lot of things happened. Um, Franklin Roosevelt was our president until 1945, and then he passed away. And then um, Harry Truman took over. So, also... Um, <laughs> I'm going to bounce around from history to makeup and then history and makeup and all this stuff. I'm kind of giving you both at the same time. So this, they actually were using liquid foundation, a light liquid foundation or cake foundation. I'm going to go ahead and um, I wanted to do liquid. Now this is my holy grail go to tutti frutti do you full coverage fresh glow foundation infused with juice melon watermelon and fresh cucumber this is in the color nude this is my go-to i do keep this on hand quite often but since i've been using a lot of products that i don't normally use i was trying to use other stuff but i'm going to lightly just put this on the back of my hand remember always keep your hands washed and I'm going to use my KVD Beauty uh, Foundation um, Edge Brush and just kind of gently put it all over. So yeah, with all of this stuff going on in this, this stuff smells so good. So, and some major um, gamers in, in the makeup industry started coming along. Um, you know... We got Helena Robinstein. We have Max Factor. Now, those of you who don't know Max Factor, Google it. Big deal. Um, remember, Almaty was already invented. We got Maybelline, Estee Lauder, and Elizabeth Arden, who came to the table with some makeup. Yeah, I'm just putting this on lightly. And mind you, I have never used this brush, and I don't know why I've never used this brush, but I kind of am loving it. Kind of like living it. There is a lot of things going on. Uh, you know, people felt a sense of patriotism that I wish we would kind of get back to in our lives. I have something going on with my lashes. We, uh... World War II began and you know it first began overseas and we might have lended a hand here and there but we really were like eh, you know didn't really jump in on it right right just right in the beginning because you know sometimes you just gotta let people handle their mess but you know offer them a little bit of hand and a little bit of support here and there, you know, if they need a little support, give them a little support, but, you know, especially if they're your homie, but sometimes people make their own messes and they need to clean up their own messes, if you get what I'm saying, I know everybody's got a friend like that, where you're like, mm, you need to clean up your own mess, or maybe they're not a friend anymore, you know, I'm just saying, it can be like that too, but, yeah, so we had avoided basically, other than just like helping out. I have this really weird crinkle right here, and I don't know, it's been there for a couple of days, and it's not a wrinkle, it's, I think it's just how I sleep on my face. So I'm a little bit loving this brush, it's making everything go on so easy, I can get my neck, 
you know, makeup was changing, but so was the world around everybody. But yeah, there was, um, you know, World War II started in September 1st, 1939. So it was at the end of like last decade or yeah, last decade. But, you know, it went from, it went for like five, six years. Um, it went from September 1st to 1939 to September 2nd, 1945. That's a pretty long time for a war, if you ask me. So they, um, it, during the war, you know, we had kind of just kept, kept to our business. Like, we minded our own business. This is the KVD. This is their um, powder dome um, one. It's number 20. I'm going to take the cake powder and instead of using the sponge this time, I'm actually just going to go ahead and just dip into this to set this down. But, um, you know, Hitler invaded Poland from the west and then two days later, France and Britain declared war on Germany. You know, this is what began the entire world war. And it's like, goodness gracious, you know, I don't want us to have to go through another one of those things. It's crazy. But, you know, we had stayed off minding our business, basically just offering a little bit of aid here and there. But then it got real for us. You know it got real for us. You know what I'm going to bring up? Pearl Harbor. Mm-hmm. In, in December of 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. They uh, bombed our American fleet. We were like, uh-oh, what did you just do? No. Oh, we're going to get up in this now. You done called us to duty. We're, we're ready to go. So we got involved, and there was a lot of things that happened. And if I went through everything that happened, you would literally be here for a very long time. So, I'm just going to kind of sum it up. You know, Anne Frank went into hiding. You know, you've heard of her, I'm sure. Diary of Anne Frank, hello. A lot of things happened. Normandy, the Holocaust. This was very tragic. I mean, these things were horrific that had happened during this, this war. And 75 million people died. Approximately 75 million people died. 75 million, okay? We're not talking like um, even 20 million. We're talking 75 million people died during this. Holy cow, that's a lot of people. Let me tell you what, my grandfather, God rest his soul, it was a retired lieutenant colonel for the United States Air Force. I have massive respect for all of our military and nurses and doctors and uh, medics and cops and everybody. So, okay, now they went with the apples and then feathered it back with, with their makeup. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Wander Beauty Trip for Two palette. And this has um, daiquiri and tulum. Tulum? Tulum? Daiquiri and tulum. This is the blush I'm going to be using, and this is the bronzer I'll be using. Oh, yes. We get to warm up our face a little bit. So, and they used a tri-dot system, or, like, that's it. They were using, like, cream blushes and stuff, and I could use cream blushes. Um, but I think today I'm going to use this one, and I thought it was really cute, and I haven't used it yet. And... They were on their apples of their cheeks and brushed back, so they were still accentuating like these cheekbones here. Ooh, this girl is pigmented. Okay, so that being said, we, you know, 75 million people died during during this particular war. 20 million military. Okay, 20 million military people and 40 million civilians. And honestly, 
they didn't, um, you know, it wasn't like it was, hey, you're an adult, you're going to die. No, it was men, women, and children. It just, horrific. And I pray that we never, ever go back to something such as that. Okay, so we have our blush on. And they like to lightly sun kiss their face. Now, I don't know how they did this, but it just said sun kiss. So that could have been blush. That could have, I don't even know, maybe a darker foundation. I don't, I'm not really sure. It just said sun kiss their face. So I'm going to do what I do to sun kiss my face. And that is bronze it, right? That's what we do. Um, she's powdery. That's okay, I don't mind a powdery thing. If it's pigmented, we love it. And that blush was pigmented, so I'm a little scared. I'm gonna have to use a light hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and warm up my face. So that was a lot of people that died. And I mean, for any, ooh, pigmented, holy cow. Get that up in my hairline. But the war ended in September of 1945, which, yay, but unfortunately in 1945, President Roosevelt had passed away. So they were taking, uh, President Truman took, took office. And, you know, there was a lot of stuff just happening, you know, good and bad. I don't think I ever remember to see my grandmother use anything like this. But... I thought warm up the face, so I think bronzer. So I'm warming up the face. So the face is warmed up. And what they did with the eyes is... We're going to go ahead and put that off to the side. But I'm going to put that in my, like, all the time kind of use stuff. Because, wow, I was not expecting it to be that pigmented. Holy cow. If you ever feel like you got too much, take the brush that you use to sit down everything with and just blend it all in. All right. So what they also did was they curled their lashes, but this said they curled both lashes. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really know how to curl my bottom lashes, if that's what they were referring to. <laughs> I'm just saying, just saying. I don't understand that, but they said curl both lashes. More power to them. I don't exactly have that type of skill to curl both lashes, so I'm just going to curl my top lashes like I usually do. Another thing they did was they actually used a pencil for just like the top line of their lashes you don't want it now we're back to not doing anything for our bottom lashes god forbid take care of them bottom lashes Ooh. and i'm taking my doll 10 in cocoa these are really great and they automatically sharpen back up After the war ended, a lot of good things seemed to start happening, like Jeep was invented. I know this sounds really dumb when you're like, a lot of good things are happening after this horrific war, but you know, with bad comes good and you really want to look on the bright side. Um, the first computer was invented. Now I know some of y'all can't be out there working or doing anything without a computer. You may not even be able to watch my videos without a computer. Uh, and what do you think your phone is? Your phone is like a small computer. Think about all the things you can do on a phone. And they did mascara just on the top. This is a new mascara that I'm trying out for you guys. Again, for the sensitive eyes. Now this one is waterproof, which scares me a little, but 
I'm giving it a go. It is the NYX Doll Eye Mascara Waterproof in Extreme Jet Black. And uh, so, yeah, the, you know, the microwave was invented. You know what I think about when I think about the microwave? I think about, like, how many times did someone have to stick tinfoil in it before they put the warning on the microwave and said, please do not stick tinfoil into this. Your microwave will explode kind of thing. You ever think about that kind of stuff, or is it just me? It's probably just me who thinks about weird stuff like that. You know what else was invented? The bikini. Hello, bikini season. It was there. It came to pass. Also, back more on the military side. Um, after the war, um, United States and the Soviet Union... Uh, it's just their military just like set up camp in um, Korea, North Korea and South Korea, um, the Soviet Union in the north and United States in the south. Okay, we're just like setting up, having some food, hanging out, I guess, you know, kind of thing. And so, yeah, there's, you know, has that. Okinawa became a main United States standing point. You know, a lot of interesting things were happening, you know. Uh, the Polaroid camera was invented in 1947. What? Right? We can take pictures in our hand, you know, and all that stuff. Pretty cool, right? And get them right then. Super cool. I think that's super cool anyways. Um... The Big Bang Theory came about in 1948. Not the TV show. The TV show, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you're thinking the TV show, no. Sheldon wasn't there. No. Penny wasn't there. It's not how it went. You know, also, uh, a lot of really, I mean, like I said, you know, a lot of interesting things started happening. There was a lot of growth. Um, the United Nations happened, okay? Important. That's important. The first flight around the world, okay, not my jam, but, you know, important. People can do it now. Okay, hey, flying around the world. But, I mean, you know, there, this was a, a, not just a bad decade, but it was also another decade of growth, which was really important after the Great Depression that had happened. I mean, that was, that was pretty horrific as well, you know. If you sit down and you talk to elderly that have lived through these things, now some most of them are, have passed on, but I used to sit down and speak to my grandfather about this. You know, if you have them still in your life, sit down and talk to them. Elderly people are were one, once young like you, me, everybody else, and they've lived through some stuff. So you want to sit down and chat with them. Okay, so I'm putting this, it doesn't, it's not bothering my eyes. So, so far this waterproof is like the only waterproof that doesn't bother my eyes so far. And another thing that was really huge was the fact that people were feeling really patriotic because of the war, you know. They have that patriotism going. But, so, we're back with the red lips. Yeah. We're back with the red lips, friends. Okay, don't... I, I feel... This was like the era of red lips. 1920, 1930, you know, 1940. We're still on the red lips. They like red lips. But they overdrew their lips, which... <laughs> let's just be real. 2021, we're still overdrawing our lips, okay? So, take it from the 1940s. Hello, still overdrawing our lips. And they like to emphasize like a roundness up here. This is the Juvia's Place um, Luxe Liner in Wine.
They just overdrew the top lip. Now we overdraw on everything. Now if I were to honestly do something like this now, I would use a liquid lipstick because it would not smear or anything like that. You can see they're like really overdrawn. And I'm going to take my red lipstick and swipe it on. Even though it contrasts my eyes, I don't care. Oh yeah, we're overdrawn today. Super overdrawn. Another finishing touch that they did, which I found personally interesting, is Vaseline. They used Vaseline, yes, you hear me right, I'm not lying, and they would glossify their lips. Yes, gloss, hello, moving away from the, I don't even know how to get this. I'm going to try to get this on my fingers and kind of get it on my lips without making an entire disaster. So after they got their gloss on, look, we got some glossy lips. Hello, glossy lips in the 1940s. Love, love, love glossy lips. All right, so that's my little narrative on what was going on in the 1940s. I know a lot of it had to do with the war, but a lot of it had to do with, you know, showing you how they did the makeup and all this stuff. So if you give me a minute, I'm going to finish up this look. I'm going to be right back. All right, and this is our final look for the 1940s. I have returned your 1940s maven. Oh yes, and that pompadour style that we all thought began in Jersey, no it did not. 1940s brought us the pompadour. We still had those gorgeous victory rolls, but the pompadour, I know you've seen it in some of those pinups, and that's coming. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my Flashback Friday. If you guys enjoyed my video and want to be notified every time I upload, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then next to it is the notification bell. Tap that as well. Also, please don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. And as always, makeup can cover up a whole lot of things, but if you're not beautiful on the inside, chances are it's going to show on the outside. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.